Hey guys, welcome to Split. What does it take to make decent smart glasses? Well, for Meta, that involves cameras, speakers, a microphone, and language model, all packed in a $300 package. Let's talk about the Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses and see if they're worth your money. Let's get into it. So straight up, they look exactly like glasses. Tick, which is the number one thing to making successful smart glasses. In terms of size, weight, there is no way to guess if you didn't have some, you know, some pre-knowledge about them to say these are not regular glasses. They look just like them. They weigh like regular glasses. Save for the two circles in the corner, which represent the LED and the lens. More about that later. They will pass the glasses test. They look very normal. Now in terms of options, they come in two design styles. If you're familiar with Ray-Ban's designs, there's something called the Wayfarer and the Headliners, right? Now, the version I have here is the Piano Black Wayfarer Clear Lens version. They do have other shades, you know, dark transition lenses, and even some off weird color opal. You, you can pick your style basically, but they do have options. So what makes them smart? Let's talk about the things that make them smart. Starting with video. These things can shoot video. There's a 12 megapixel lens on the left side that can do 1080p at 30 frames per second. It can shoot it in portrait mode and that's it. You cannot adjust it to landscape mode because let's face it, it is, it is meta. So it is social media first. So that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get that cell phone format, boom, that way. And in terms of video duration, you can shoot 60 seconds, 30 seconds, and 15 second videos. That's it, that's your limit. But if you are live streaming, those limitations go out the window and you can pretty much live stream for as long as you have power. And like I said, it is geared towards social media first. So the priority goes to live streaming, not for you just shooting everything you see uh, for one hour or two. No, you're stuck to those bandwidths for timeline. Now, when you're shooting video, taking a picture, the LED on the right side indicates that that action is taking place so that someone can know that you're taking their picture or you're recording a video. Now you can do this by either using the shutter button up here to press once to take a picture or long press to take a video. You can adjust that in the MetaView app or on that later. Or you can activate this with the assistant, the AI assistant with your voice by just saying, hey Meta, take a picture. And, you know, and he just took a picture right now. Or you can do the same command and tell it, you know, take a video and it will shoot that. And depending what you set in the app, it will shoot the video for the duration which you've set it at 15, 30 or 60 seconds. Now that light I talked about, you may have noticed it flash when I said take a picture and, or maybe not, but it is easier to see in a room or, or in dimly lit areas, you notice that that light is on. But in broad daylight, it's pretty easy to miss because you can just think it's a glint off the edge of the glasses, especially these ones that are shiny piano black. You just think, oh, it's a reflection or something. So, you know, you have to be careful with these, especially, you know, you should disclose them if you're in an area where you're concerned about privacy. And quite frankly, you shouldn't be using them in areas that require privacy, like the bathroom or, or you know, stuff like that. Don't be a glass hole. At the beginning, I did say they have speakers, and yes, they do have speakers. So you can hear the AI talk back to you, or quite frankly, listen to music. And yes, you can listen to anything you want, streaming audio service on your phone. And it has this great effect where it's like you're in a room with the speakers playing straight into your ear, and you can still hear the outside world. It's pretty loud, it's pretty clear. And if you're at 50, 60%, most people can't hear what you're hearing, but to you, it just feels like you're, you're in a party take it up any higher and then they start to hear hi hats you know and 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 the tweezers coming off off the sides like you would in a headphone but not really disturbing not too disturbing anyway so i would say 50 60 percent is a sweet spot if you want privacy and still enjoy loud music but do not expect to get good bass from this because i figure the space in here isn't enough to get the feedback they would like so it's a bit tinny when it comes to bass but all in all, it's really decent quality music that you're enjoying. They do have a feature out the box that sort of lets you link these to your Spotify account. So it acts as a DJ when you 
when you double tap the side and it so, sort of selects tunes for you and, and plays music. But again, you don't have to do that out the box. You can just select what your player is and just run with that and it'll act as a decent Bluetooth device. Um, what else make me smart? You can make and take phone calls with this. Yeah, pretty cool. Blows people's minds when you're just reading a book and next thing you're talking with someone over the phone without anything in your ears or you picking up your phone. It's kind of a cool effect. It worked on some of my colleagues. Um, it has five microphones spread all around, two up there, one up there, but there's a major one, the one right under your nose bridge here that is fully dedicated to your phone calls. Now, I must warn you, a lot of people have complained about muffled audio when they're talking to someone over the phone and they say they can't hear them properly. Um, Meta did notice, did take the feedback and they have sent out updates. So if you check the app, it will tell you update. If you're having issues not hearing clearly or people are complaining about not hearing you, click this button. And what I think it does, I'm not sure, is maybe activates other mics to help with voice clarity. And if that doesn't help you, trust the world. If you check Amazon, there are little pingy, you know, like nose bridge things you can attach under these to raise them a little bit above your nose, especially if you have a big nose like mine, you're, you know, just sucking up all the oxygen. You could be blocking that microphone right there in that corner with your, you know, with your snage. And that's what could be causing the sound problem. But weird enough with my big nose, I have not had this problem. I uh, hope I don't have this problem. I had it once, but I think that day I was really sweaty and the glasses was really pushed against my face. Someone said they couldn't hear me. I just adjusted it a bit and it was clear. So if you're having that issue, look at those two things, try to update your glasses or buy one of those nose pinch things to move it up a bit. I suspect that will solve your problem. I hope, let me know in the comments below if you're still having this problem and any other solution you may have found. The true AI features of these glasses start to take shape in form of the large language model which Meta has put in here called Llama. Think ChatGPT. So basically an assistant that when you ask it questions, it will respond in a formal conversational tone that helps you get the answer you want or solve problems. Uh, let me see if I can find a microphone. I will give you a demo. For example, um, yeah, that's connected. Hey Meta, when is the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl is scheduled for February 12th, 2024, at 12.30 a.m. Why? Cool. Okay, so it tells you that, right? It took a while because I'm in a bunker and network here is crazy. So pretty straightforward. Not bad. But while that may seem cool, there are limitations. Now, what this was sold on at the keynote was that it will give you a model that allows you to look at an object and ask the assistant to tell you what you're looking at and using the cameras it should be able to recognize what it's looking at and give you the information you want so whether it's shopping or whether it's trying to unscrew solve uh, something or solve a problem it should help you do that visually using the camera but that is still in beta only a few people are testing that out right now in the world and it's not released globally uh, meta says it will come out early this year i don't know what that means but Definitely, it should push the glasses. When we do get that update, you will be able to do that. And I think that's when it fully comes into its, well, it's almost there when it's now in full AI mode. Apart from that, because it's a large language model, it means it's reading off certain information sources. And if it gets the wrong information from a certain source, it may not be accurate. So be careful with the answers you get. Don't rely on them 100%. They're really just for uh, recreational questioning and answering. So here's an example. Hey Meta, who is the president of Nigeria? The president of Nigeria is Muhammadu Buhari. What? Yeah, so it's probably pulling from a source that hasn't been updated. Uh, so things like that, be careful with that. Don't go try cheating in an exam with something like this. You're probably just gonna fail anyway. Let's talk quickly about the MetaView app. As important as it is, there's not a lot to say about it. Yes, you need the MetaView app to set up your glasses, basically linking it to your Meta account, and you need your Meta app to download images from here into your phone. It does store images on the glasses and it does store them on your device once you transfer them. And when you're done, you can use the MetaView app to delete 
uh, from your phone and on the glasses as well. That's about it. If you need to update, you will do it through the MetaView app, uh, but that's really the conduit between the phone and your glasses. Like I said, not a lot to say about the MetaView app. Let's talk battery life. Now these things, this case can give you about 32 hours of battery life. The glasses themselves don't hold much power, about three to four hours or so. Sometimes I've managed to kill them in two and a half hours depending on what I'm doing, but that doesn't really matter because I can just fold them up and pop them back into this very nice, premium, natural looking glasses case. So again, towing that line of making it look very normal. It'd be hard for someone to guess that these were abnormal cases, except when you close them, of course, there's an LED right there. So they're gonna be like, hey, these aren't, this, that's not a regular case, what are you charging? Yeah, but that's the indicator that it is charging. On this case, apart from the front that shows how, what the, you know, what the battery level is at, there is a pairing button very well hitting at the back here. It's almost impossible to see. And then there's a USB-C port at the bottom to charge the case itself. So when it's dying or something, the way you would normally take off your glasses and pop them in a the case, uh, about just over an hour, you get them back up to full charge and you're good to go. But there are a few things you should be concerned about when you're considering buying these. Number one is that, like I said earlier, the AR is currently limited. So it doesn't do everything it promises out the box. Facebook says they will push an update that will enable it to do all those things. And if you live outside the US, sometimes some AI features could be limited as well because of regional restrictions. Hey guys, quick update. So they have given me access to the beta program and now I can do the look and ask command. So basically I can ask no matter what I'm looking at and it'll tell me it's this or it's that or that's what it's doing. It's still in training because sometimes you know, it has to take a picture and it could just tell you what's behind the object you're actually looking at, but it does represent potential, you know, like I said, the best use case for this as they continue to roll it out everywhere. So just thought I'd let you know. Back to the other guy. There is social functionality issues, you know, going somewhere that has restrictions like the embassy, or like I said, uh, a locker room, and you have these on, you should remember to take them off or if you are gonna use them in any sensitive area, at least let the people know what you're doing so that you have consent. Don't be a creep. You know you, you know who you are, I'm talking to you. Don't be a creep. Um, what else? Yeah, because like I said, it's hard for people to see that light if you assume they're gonna see that LED. It's, it's easy to miss. Almost 100% of people are asked in the daytime, do you know I'm recording? I said, no, what are you talking about? Uh, maybe about 70% in the dark who noticed something happened with my glasses. It is easy to miss. So I know some of you are thinking if you block it, you can block it completely. No, if you block the LED, it won't record. The glasses will, will tell you that the LED is blocked, so it won't record or try to take a picture. So at least Facebook thought of that much. Okay, let's wrap this up. So I think, at least to date, these represent one of the most promising form factors that brings in phone calls, audio, camera setup and AI functionality into a very natural form factor glasses that look normal and take you, you know, you're gonna have to really take a good look or recognize it from somewhere to guess that they're not normal. Now, a friend of mine has said these are expensive at about $300. I think that depends on who you ask. If you visit Ray-Ban or any other designer glasses website right now, you will find dumb glasses that don't have any of these features that look pretty much like this, that'll be in that $200 to $500 range, maybe even more, if they're just glasses. And most glasses, most glasses are made of the same plastic, metal, and glasses, let's be honest, all right? Most of the same company. So to pack all those features in here for that price, I think it's justifiable. I think it's justifiable. And if they do release that language model in the short term, I think it'd be totally justifiable. Uh, at least that's what I think. We can debate it in the comments below. And that's my time. Let me know what you guys think about the Ray-Ban Metasmart glasses. I will see you in the next one. Take care.